Now here we start asking a simple question here, just going, how does moisture travel? When you start asking as far as in dry environment here, and you look at the sun baking down on that floor, it's going to be, end up being drier on the surface than, and wetter on the bottom. So when we look at what happened here, now this is out in the, in the desert, and you look at it, it's a river bottom, but what happened to the, what happened to the dirt? It cracked. Why did it crack? Dried up. Can we stop that? Well, fill it, fill, it, fill it back up with water, we could. But the point is, since that time that it went through the changes, we can't stop that. So it would act any different. No. So if we start looking at this photograph here, you'll start seeing that, yes, here the material started getting end splits all the way through the end. We can't, it's on this plank as well, we can't stop that from happening. We can prevent it or minimize it by adding central humidification to it. But in the same conditions that we have here in, in the desert, apply that wood, we're not going to get any change in reaction. So we asked the key for performance, and this is where we asked on customer expectations. And you start going into is your consumer education, proper care and maintenance. Now this is the one I get. Did I receive proper care and maintenance? Well, I told you how to take care of the floor by washing it with bone, or it might be with squeaky clean or whatever. 99% of the time it was never delivered about environmental maintenance. We don't, we focus on washing the floor, but we do not focus our efforts on environmental maintenance. So when you ask yourself the question here is the importance of moisture control. Ladies in the room know exactly what moisture control er, does, and so you start asking yourself here and understanding the product limitations. Why do they using creams and lotions and everything else uh, in order to preserve the, the natural beauty of their skin? Because they feel it firsthand on the importance of doing moisture control. Here you look at the wood floor. Once it's been split, we have got no, there's no fix for this floor. Total replacement. So when we start asking about veneer checks, the wood failure in the face is caused primarily from stresses created from shrinking. And that's just like we talked previously that ladies are the first ones to realize when they start getting chapped. And so they're the first ones to react to it. It's the same thing. Our floor will do the same thing. We can't. We can prevent this as long as we know when we're selling a floor. Is the second question in? What about your humidification control? What do we have in it? So when we look at large humidity swings and excessive moisture or lack of control, will cause the engineered floor to fail, just like any other floor. Here we look at. We talked earlier. I've got a. I've got a smooth face and I've got a sculptured face, or be a hand scraped. When we start asking ourselves on that. What is in the standard, so when a customer hears that about being part of the characteristic of the material? The characteristic of the material, this would still be characteristic of that grade, even if they're open. They may open more during, um, during seasonal change, but they would still be part of that characteristic of the material. This one here would be not. Uh, it's a smooth face, and the, whether it be end splitting or checking on it, it's still going back to is the importance of knowing on where the reactionary was from and what conditions a manufacturer produced the product at as well as what the homeowner uh, maintained the product at. Mm -hmm.